What's going on guys, the Inhuman Town. I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assembled. This is where I take a look at a brand new hero and tell you if they're worth getting or worth passing. With Spec Ops now upon us, it's time to have a look at our champion that's going to be awarded to us in it. It's none other than the alien worthy to wield Monier, Beta Ray Bill. Now, I'm not the... I won't say I'm the biggest fan of Marvel. I love it, that's for sure, but I don't know every character. So, the Corbinites were attacked by Sutar's demons and forced to flee their world. Enhanced to become their cyborg champion and protector, Beta Ray Bill encountered Thor and proved himself an equal and worthy of Monier. Granted the mighty Uru Hammer Stormbreaker by Odin himself, Beta Ray Bill comes to the aid of all those in need without a moment's hesitation. You know, I always thought he was just a cheap Thor clone, but even just that little bit has already told me he's not, and those who would dare say that he is are idiots. I know that's just my opinion, but I'm right. Anyways, we've already gotten a small taste of his powers uh, in the uh, spec ops, so have a, let's have a look at him on a more tactical and analytical version, shall we? So Beta Ray Bill has basically, I want to say higher than average health, attack, and defense, but he suffers from low accuracy and incredibly low evasion, mostly due to the fact that he's a bruiser, so they're known for having high attack, low evasion, also low accuracy. He's a Corbinite Guardian. He protects allies that are low on health from single target attacks. He has, takes less damage from enemy attacks, and stamina is retor uh, restored every round. He, is the, he takes the path of might. He counts as both a blaster and bruiser, gaining the advantages and disadvantages of both, but for PvP and basically, I guess, empowered isolates, he's counted as a bruiser because that is a buff. So if anyone's wondering why they can't put a blaster empowered on him if they already have him, that's why. He gains Riders on the Storm. Provides amped up to all allies, increasing damage on attacks, and providing a chance to evade enemy attacks. His first ability is Stormbreaker, a one enemy melee electric. On your knees! Which applies Crackle. Chance to trigger an electric shock after performing a hostile action. Removes one stack of Crackle when t triggered. This effect can be applied up to three times. It applies cover to himself, taking 50% damage from all attacks. His next is Thunderstruck, a one enemy ranged electric because you've been Thunderstruck! Bam, bam. It applies cornered to the enemy, removes and prevents protect effects, and he gets breakthrough. The next attack that hits is guaranteed to be a critical hit. His following next move is I Say The Nay, an all enemy ranged electric attack with a two round cooldown. Yeah, the two round cooldown. Bada boom! It's catastrophic. Apply static charge. Nearby electric attacks may chain to this target, causing extra damage. And ozone, taking additional damage from electric attacks and effects on all enemies. He applies electric field on himself. A shield effect absorbs incoming damage. Deals electricity damage to melee attackers. And finally, to finish off his trio of song references ride the lightning a one enemy melee electric with a three round cooldown this is cosmic it's deadly crits exploits flying and shocking deals extra damage against targets with crackle ozone and static shock static static charge not none of them have the uh, the black superhero static shock on them that would definitely be interesting <laughs> anyways <clears throat> Now it's painfully obvious to see what his uh, money shot is. It's Ride the Lightning. Uh, I do find that getting a getting crackle on enemies and keep and keeping it there is a little hard because they do have that chance of getting rid of it. But that's all fine. Aside from that, I can basically see where this goes. Using I say the I say the nay first to start off the battle, applying ozone and static charge to everyone, followed by Stormbreaker to apply crackle and get covered while you're at it. Or do those two in any order you wish. Followed up by Thunderstruck to apply cornered on them and get breakthrough, giving extra damage for Ride the Lightning. Which is definitely a interesting set. Like I said, 
might be a little bit hard to get the full advantage due to crackle unless you've got some kind of weapon that does it for you. That all said and aside, Beta Ray Bill's definitely looking like one hell of a fighter. He's also one of those who will now never run out of stamina as long he's as long as he's protecting someone. But yeah, I really like Beta Ray Bill, and I definitely recommend picking him up. Maybe for those who don't need another offensive character, you can pass on him. But the way I see it is, the way it is, it's a spec ops. As long as you've got the heroes or the gold to pass the epic boss, you're gonna get him one way or the other. And that'll be all for now, guys. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.